A Taiwanese army pilot was offered money to defect by landing a U.S.-made transport helicopter on a People's Liberation Army Navy aircraft carrier during a military drill near the island, according to prosecutors. But the undertaking fell through after the officer was arrested in August for allegedly spying for Beijing, a Taiwan court has heard. According to the Taipei Times, a lieutenant colonel named Hsei, based in the Army's Aviation and Special Forces Command, was approached by Chinese officers who proposed evacuating his family to Thailand in the event of a cross-strait conflict. In return, Hsei was asked to pilot a CH-47 Chinook helicopter to a Chinese aircraft carrier in the Taiwan Strait with a reported offer of 15 million US dollars, covering half the helicopter's cost, the report stated. Initially rejecting the offer, Hsei eventually acquiesced to the proposal. In April, investigators exposed the espionage ring, resulting in the apprehension of Hsei and other individuals implicated in the affair. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Taiwan thwarted China's attempt to capture American-made CH-47 Chinook. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Boeing CH-47 Chinook is a tandem rotor helicopter originally developed by American rotorcraft company Vertol and now manufactured by Boeing Defense, Space and Security. The Chinook is a heavy-lift helicopter that's among the heaviest-lifting Western helicopters. The American-made CH-47 is a very versatile and reliable asset. This is mainly due to a tandem rotor system that comprises six blades, two engines, and five transmissions, producing over 10,000 horsepower. According to Boeing and the U.S. Army, its capability is somewhere between 24,000 and 26,000 pounds, that's 10,900 to 11,800 kilograms at sea level. It has a range of 460 miles or 740 kilometers, a maximum speed of 196 miles per hour, 315 kilometers per hour, and a service ceiling of 20,000 feet or 6,100 meters. This characteristic enables it to haul a lot of cargo in a speedy manner and at a pretty high altitude. Boeing's Chinook helicopter was designed to work under extreme conditions in remote areas featuring terrain that standard aircraft would be unable to service. From avionics to engines, a captured Chinook would be a treasure trove for China. To defect, Hsei had been instructed that when People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF, military aircraft conducted exercises near Taiwan's contiguous zone, he was to fly the CH-47 Chinook at low altitude along the coastline. It was estimated that it would only take him about five minutes to land on a PLAN vessel. Chinese handlers allegedly promised Hsei that they would help his wife and children obtain Thai elite visas. They asserted that in the event of conflict erupting in the Taiwan Strait, priority evacuation from Taiwan would be accorded to Hisei's family, who were Thai overseas Chinese. Additionally, they mentioned a monthly stipend of approximately 200,000 Chinese yuan, which is about 27,000 US dollars. Minister of National Defense Chui Kuo Cheng addressed the report, acknowledging the significant impact of Beijing's attempts to entice Taiwanese individuals. Recently, investigators searched the command quarters in the northern city of Taoyuan 
uncovering concrete evidence of illegal activities as stated by the defense ministry. China has continuously tried to acquire American stuff by hook or crook. Over the years, China has persistently targeted the U.S. with sophisticated cyber attacks. China obtained more than 50 terabytes of data from U.S. defense and government networks, notably the F-35 Joint Strike Fighters stealth, radar, and engine secrets through cyber espionage. The NSA estimated that the Chinese had conducted more than 30,000 cyber attacks as part of the massive defense industrial espionage and that more than 500 attacks were significant intrusions in the Department of Defense, or DOD, systems. More than 1,600 network computers were penetrated, and at least 600,000 user accounts were compromised by Chinese cyber spying. In all, the NSA concluded that the Chinese compromised key components of the F-35. For example, the design details of ANAPG-81, active electronically scanned array radar for the F-35, have been stolen. A very concerning revelation was made in late 2022. The Chinese military has been recruiting British veterans with years of piloting experience to help improve its own air forces. They've been persuaded to move to China and train pilots of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense official told the New York Times China has already recruited as many as 30 former British military pilots in recent years to train its military. China has mostly drafted former pilots with experience on fast-flying fighter jets, but has also heavily recruited helicopter pilots. Taiwan has been subjected to many Chinese espionage activities over the years. Chinese have made extensive efforts to gain tech know-how through unethical means. CCP has encouraged its student fraternity to get educated in the U.S. and mingle into the system. The Center for Immigration Studies called foreign student visas a weak point in national security and pointed a finger at China as a key abuser of the system, a claim made by several other immigration and national security groups. It's said that the explosion of student visas to STEM schools takes positions that U.S. students can use and puts potential spies inside institutions that have key national security ties to the U.S. government. Not only this, several Chinese in the U.S. are on the payroll of the Chinese government. These people have been used to gather information on vital military installations in the U.S. The attempted capture of CH-47 Chinook shows how daring and desperate CCP is. It is of utmost importance for the U.S. and Taiwan to remain vigilant. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.